that's like uh, those romantic stories of like, here's the album that like, oh, I remember being handed that album at 15. And for me, it was Darren Aronofsky, Requiem for a Dream, uh, Pi, Tarantino, and they blew my mind. At the same time, I had a completely separate group of friends that were getting into skateboarding. And then I watched one particular video, Rodney Mullen versus Day One Song Round Two, Rodney's part. And my stuff looks nothing like that, but that one video at the right time of my life, being super interested in filmmaking all of a sudden, that kind of just totally catapulted my life that direction. So my time was me skating all day and then filming my friends any chance I got. My brother was getting into broadcast and basic editing. He had a teacher in high school that he shared that with, and I happened to just walk into that room one day. He happened to pull up, you ever heard of this school? And it was Full Sail. <laughs> and then literally, fast forward only a few months later, I was signed up to go to Full Sail. There was a degree program that had web design, had a little bit of video, had motion graphics, After Effects. I didn't have this nailed down idea of what I wanted in life, but I had all these interests in digital art and design, especially at the time, was such a, you get to try everything. The reason I got the job with Cully is because one of my teachers, Mac Bertin, showed Cully a video that I made like on my own. Like I would just go back to Chicago on like Christmas break and I would film my friends and he showed him one of the videos I made during that time. Cully called me up in the lab and we had a funny hangout one time. You know, I didn't apply for a job. And it's those kind of moments that will change your life. It's interesting, a lot of people don't know they, they, they follow my YouTube channel. It's very skateboard centric. And it's interesting the questions I get of like, do you ever think that you would go into commercial work or document or this, this? And I'm like, that's actually usually how I pay my bills. It's such a strange diversity of commercial work. I've done a ton of work in Mercedes. I've done the music videos for Warner Brothers. I do documentary work. I love shooting documentary work. I just have a short attention span, apparently. And so it's cool that I get to work on all these strange projects because no month is like the next one. The skate stuff is very close to my heart and it's what I would do even if no money was ever involved. When kids email me saying I started skateboarding because of you, I started filmmaking because of you, that's, that's heavy. Like, I, my life would not be the same without a skateboard or without a camera, and the idea that something I did can st start a possible lifetime journey for somebody, that's crazy, and that's exciting, and that's the beauty of living in, like, the online world, is you have this reach to make a change in somebody's life that even if it's just that one person, and to have that connection with that one person, that's so cool. That's just one more person I get to geek out with. <laughs>